So how you doing guys? I just wanted to show you um, How we doing? I just wanted to show you how I do or what I use to make a, a, a fertilizer at home This is seagrass, forgot the name of it <clears throat> This is very very uh, uh, Nutritious uh, grass or seaweed or whatever you want to call it so I use this for my uh, homemade fertilizer I was looking I was looking up I was doing some research and this has a lot of, a lot of nutrients and a lot of minerals including ca uh, calcium so this is a very good uh, product to use at home. All right, I'll show you what to do later with it. Okay, so this is the next process of the uh, of the making of the fertilizer. So basically, uh, you know, I left it on the ground or anywhere the you have space for, for some sun, some sunlight, and just let it dry out for a couple of days, probably within a week or so, less than a week it'll fully dry so once it's dry we get to go to the next process So, so this this here is the uh, the final product of my seaweed fertilizer. Okay. So like, so what I basically do is I just go to the beach, get some you know like trash bags full of uh, seaweed or seagrass. Um. Bring it over to the house, put it, you know, put it in, in the, under the sun so it dries up. And then I use my cu my coffee grinder and, you know, turn it into a powder like, like that. Um, to enhance also the, the content here, nutritional content, I add, I add, um, eggshells to it so basically I mix them both together and there's a lot there's lots of nutritional value here so you see what I do if I'm gonna plant I just you know I'll mix it up in the in the soil like that mix it up whatever put it in the first inch or two inches of the soil and then just add water to it and plant the the you know the seeds or if the plant is like in a container or on the ground I just add it to the container sprinkle a little bit on it and and add a bit of water and it works the same so the fertilizer that I use here is basically this Right now, you see that's radish over there, a little bit of lettuce. Um, I, I use azomite, but I use azomite when I'm planting them. So I add it to the ground and all that, to the dirt. 
but you know the 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 weekly fertilizer is this this is what i use it's cheaper i don't have to buy it i don't have to spend any money on it the eggshells i get it from my house because I, I i i eat a lot of boiled eggs the white part so I, the shells i use them and you know the members of the house also eat eggs as well so and i get a few from from the bake my local bakery but this is this is very great because you know there's a lot of it and actually people don't want it on the beach and you kind of like a mutual benefit right because you're taking it from the beach either way it's gonna dry up and you know it's gonna make the beach a little bit dirty right in a sense and you could take that you know bring it over to your house and dry it up what you can also do is instead of making it into like powder like you can also um, get bags of, of seagrass or seaweed okay get a, a container like a large trash can um, make sure you you cut you know you cut the the, the the wheat the seaweed into pieces into chunks or just shred it apart and add water to it add a bit of water and you can add a just a, like a handful of azomite to to the to the whole container and right, to the water um, and just let it sit there for a couple of days and just use the water use the water as a as a liquid fertilizer and that's that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys later on in a couple of days and that helps as well so that's it guys I just wanted to show you the, the you know the basic and cheap and highly nutritious a fertilizer that I use for my plants in my garden. It's very small, but it keeps me uh, entertained, and and I get a lot of fruits from it and, and veggies. Alright, thank you for watching.